Hi everybody, welcome back and today we are going to be sticking our hands into this Worm Farm Starter Kit. If you've been following closely, you know that this bin was where we were throwing different kinds of scraps and different foods to experiment with and um, I got a little bit overzealous and ended up overfeeding this bin and effectively killing around 50 adult worms that was that were in here originally from when I set this bin up. Obviously in the two or three months that this bin was running there were some juveniles and some cocoons in here and we were in I was in a dilemma I didn't know I added a whole bunch of carbon to it I didn't know whether I should um, what to do with the bin people were commenting and saying I should throw it away and then last week while we were just having a check of this bin I asked the question should I add a hundred worms to this bin to try and boost the population so they can start eating the contents of this bin or should we just leave it be and see how it goes there were some mixed there were some mixed responses so before i talk about that um i'm just going to quickly ask you guys please if you haven't done so already hit the like button subscribe to the channel and um ring the notification bell to keep up to date with all the latest videos um i'd really appreciate your comments as well down below Cool, so um, I have come into this bin during the week. We gave it some moisture. It was feeling a little bit dry and granulated. It's starting to dry out on top as well a little bit now. The temperatures have really started to hit quite high now. They're getting into like, they're creeping up towards like 40 degrees, which is, you know, over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's getting really, really hot now in Dubai. Um, the storeroom is warm. I don't actually have my little temperature thing in me jiggy here. Um, but the bin's cool because of the moisture, but the room itself is quite hot, a little bit humid. I don't have the AC on yet, uh, which is why this video is silent today. Um, but yeah, I've had I've been in this bin a couple of times, and I have to say that um, the worm population is coming back. Look, so this guy just sort of grew. Um, let's put you over here. It's weird. I was in this bin. There you go. They're looking a little bit pale though, that's the thing. Um, I was in here in this bin a couple of days ago and I definitely did notice there was a bigger, like the, the worms were more prominent. I could see them. I see there's a couple of guys down here. There you go. Let me just see what's going on on this side. There we go. There's a whole bunch of worms here. So the worms are definitely here. They're definitely more prominent. Um, but yeah, I noticed like a quite a lot the other day. So after the last video also there was a comment from somebody um regarding the ph level because obviously when with overfeeding i could have made the bin acidic so there was concerns about adding more worms in here if the if the bin is acidic so i've taken that into consideration today the moisture level is quite good it's still kind of granulated but i'm going to fix that now and i'll show you how I'm a little bit disappointed because, like I said, I actually I saw loads of worms in here um, the other day. See, this worm looks stunted to me. It's got a little clitellum. But he's tiny. I did give them a little bit of chow. Okay, so... What am I going to do? After seeing these worms in here the other day, I don't know where they've all gone today. Anyway, um, after seeing all these worms in here the other day, I decided that I probably won't add another 100 worms in here. The, the, the consensus was really mixed. Some people said put, some people said don't put, and I am probably not, even though I really want to add worms into this, I'm not going to. I don't know why. Maybe I'll give it another week. But because, like I said, the other day when I looked into this bin, there were there were maybe 20, 30 worms on top. 
So what am I going to do to fix the acidity of this bin? Well, I don't have my, I don't have any access to dolomite lime. Lime is great calcium and actually can help to neutralize the pH level in your bin. Um, I don't have that. However, what I do have is I've got some crushed up oyster shells here. So I'm going to give this a nice sprinkling all over the bed. There you go. And I'm hoping that this will regulate the regulate that. I'm also going to give them a nice little feeding of some chow to fatten them up. Obviously not much, just a, a tablespoon. I'm definitely going to add a little bit more moisture to this bin. There you go. Just to break down that chow. There we go. Ah, there you go, see? All of a sudden, worms galore. They're in there. They're just, uh, they're just chilling at the bottom. So I'm just giving them some nice fluff at the moment. And again, see? Little baby worms in here as well. I don't think there's any mating going on in here, so whatever's just whatever was in here and is hatching since um, the unfortunate events, uh, we're seeing those um, mature and we're seeing those guys mature, and hopefully they'll populate this bin. I still might add worms to this bin. I am not sure. I mean, I do want to, I do want to alleviate some of the worms from the main bin, but um, yeah. That's that for now. Thank you for watching as always. Big love, be good, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, show your boy some love, you know what to do. And I will see you guys soon. Big love.